What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 15, Monday Night Football. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna go over my top DFS picks for this Monday Night Football Showdown between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, let's take a look at the quarterback position. I like Ben Roethlisberger from the Pittsburgh Steelers playing the Cincinnati Bengals who have the ninth worst defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing quarterbacks. Ben Roethlisberger has averaged 19.7 fantasy points per game on the season, and he's going to be about 72% owned, projected at 18.6 fantasy points here tonight, and he's 11,800 DraftKings salary. Vegas thinks there's going to be 40.5 points scored in this game, with the Pittsburgh Steelers favored by 15. So great matchup here. I just don't trust Ryan Finley. He could kill your lineup. So I'd prefer to spend up and go with the proven quarterback. So I like Ben Roethlisberger here versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, Ryan Finley is only 8,000 DraftKings salary, projected at 10.3 fantasy points here tonight. He's going to be about 33% owned. So this is definitely the contrarian play. If you think Ryan Finley can go out there and throw a couple touchdowns tonight, he could pay off his salary. And the Cincinnati Bengals are going to be trailing in this game. So it should be a passing game script. But he's got a tough matchup. So I may play one or two lineups with Ryan Finley. But most of my lineups will have Ben Roethlisberger. Okay, let's take a look at the running back position. So James Conner was limited in practice. He really hasn't done all that well this year. Although his salary is only 6,600 DraftKings salary, projected at 11 fantasy points. And he's gonna be about 36% owned. If he does play tonight, I think he's a fine play. He's got some pretty big upside, even though he hasn't shown it yet. And this should be a running game script as the Pittsburgh Steelers are favored by 15. So because his salary is relatively low, I like James Conner here versus the Cincinnati Bengals. But if you're looking for a deep sleeper pick, take a look at Jalen Samuels from the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's only 800 DraftKings salary, and he got four rush attempts and four pass targets last game. Now, he only scored six fantasy points, and he's going to be about 10% owned, projected at 4.1 fantasy points here tonight, but he's got a good matchup. This is a game that they may decide to rest James Conner, so Jalen Samuels could split the work with Benny Snell Jr., and I like the fact that he's got four pass targets in his last two games. So if he's getting four pass targets and four rush attempts, you're getting eight touches for 800 DraftKings salary. If he finds the end zone, he could find himself in the winning lineup. So I like Jalen Samuels here versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Now the Cincinnati running back situation, we don't know what we're gonna get here tonight, guys. Last week, they benched Giovanni Bernard because of an early fumble and he only got three rush attempts, three pass targets, and scored four fantasy points. He's going to be about 16% owned, projected at 8.2 fantasy points here tonight, and he's 5,600 DraftKings salary. But the Cincinnati Bengals should be down big in this game, so it's not going to be a running game script. So I may steer away from Giovanni Bernard, and I may go with one of these low salary guys like Perrine or Trevion Williams. Perrine is only 1,400 DraftKings salary, and he got 10 rush attempts and two pass targets last game, scored six fantasy points, 
and he's going to be about 7% owned. And Trevion Williams, he's only 1,200 DraftKings salary. He got 12 rush attempts and three pass targets last game, scored eight fantasy points, and he's going to be about 11% owned. So I think I'm going to save some salary here at the running back position, and I'm going to roll the dice with either Perrine or Trevion Williams. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL. NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the wide receiver position. So, it looks like for me, I'm going to spend my money on the Pittsburgh Steelers wide receivers, Deontay Johnson, Juju Smith-Schuster, and Chase Claypool. I like all three of those guys in this one. My favorite wide receiver out of the three is probably Juju Smith-Schuster, who's averaging 14.5 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 7.8 pass targets per game. He's going to be about 45% owned, projected at 14.1 fantasy points here tonight, and he's 10,000 DraftKings salary. So I like Juju Smith-Schuster here versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, if I'm going to play a wide receiver from the Bengals, I like Tyler Boyd, who's averaging 15.1 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 8.2 pass targets per game. He's going to be about 37% owned. He got nine pass targets last game, scored nine fantasy points. He's projected at 10.6 fantasy points here tonight, and he's 8,400 DraftKings salary. So with the Bengals expected to be trailing by 15 in this game, Tyler Boyd could get a ton of pass targets. He's been good all season long, so I like Tyler Boyd here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, this is really a tough game to pick because you also got T. Higgins and A.J. Green, who got seven pass targets last game, scored 18 fantasy points, and T. Higgins got eight pass targets last game, scored 10 fantasy points. T. Higgins is going to be about 33% owned, projected at 10.9 fantasy points here tonight. He's 6,800 DraftKings salary. So T. Higgins is getting plenty of targets. And then A.J. Green is only 5,400 DraftKings salary. Going to be about 21% owned. Projected at 7.1 fantasy points here tonight. Now, A.J. Green hasn't played well. He did have a big game last game, though. But if I'm going to play a Cincinnati Bengals wide receiver, it's probably going to be Tyler Boyd or T. Higgins. Okay, let's take a look at the tight end position. I like Eric Ebron from the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's averaging 9.8 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 6.4 pass targets per game. He scored 7, 14, and 12 fantasy points in the last three games off of 5, 11, and 11 pass targets. He's going to be about 27% owned, projected at 10.6 fantasy points here tonight. He's 6,400 DraftKings salary. He's got a great matchup here. The Cincinnati Bengals give up the second most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. So the way I'm going to build my lineup here tonight, I'm probably going to go with Ben Roethlisberger, Eric Ebron, and then one of the three major wide receivers from the Pittsburgh Steelers, either Juju Smith-Schuster, Deontay Johnson, or Chase Claypool. So that's going to be my three-man Pittsburgh Steelers stack. Then I'll probably get one of those low-salary running backs from the Cincinnati Bengals in there and see where I can go from there. So I like Eric Ebron here versus the Cincinnati Bengals. 
If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.